For this video, we're having a look at a request by one of my subscribers to produce a covered steak well in the style of the Pompidou Centre. So what I've done to start with is created a upper and a lower floor section, and I've got a staircase with a short ramp either side. On the ramp, I have um, changed the angle of the ramp so that I can do it at one-to-one -to, -one to make sure I just get, get running alongside the stairs here. Now, when we look at this in plan view, you'll notice I've also created a reference plane by here. So you can do that on the architecture uh, tab over there. All right. And I've done that along the center line by here. And if I click on that, I've just called it center line. OK, now. I can see that it's not quite in the center, so I will just edit that to make sure it is centered. There we go. That's better. Now we will go to component model in place. And for the categories, I'm going to select roofs and say OK. And you can call it whatever you want. Roof number one will do. What we wish to do here is select the sweep option. All right, so I'm just going to click on sweep and then sketch path. Now I want to jump to um, a different work plane. So I want to go to the one I've created by there and I can look at that in the elevations. OK, so now I can sketch the path. So I will simply start by there, go to the base of the stairwell and then to the top of the stairs and then to the end up there. And that is our path. So now we need to do the profile. So I'm going to do this profile from a different elevation. All right. And we want to edit profile and we want to draw our profile. So I'm going to be using the curve. All right. And I will make that uh, 1200 there. There we go. That looks all right. Now, important point with this curve is that it has to be a closed loop. So I'm going to use the offset, make the offset 25, and just offset on the inside of this. And then go down to the bottom and just make sure I can close these loops out nicely. Do the same on the other side. There we go. Then we've got material. So I'm going to click on the material and I want glass. OK, we've got a few types of glass. Maybe you've got other types you want to load in. I'll go for a low E glass go on, or clear glazing. We'll have clear glazing. Say OK. And then the big green tick and the big green tick again. And now let's look at it in 3D. And we can see we have our glazed section by there. Oh, finish model there. That makes. So that's the first step is actually creating the glazing for the stairwell cover.